Hello everyone, this is my performance for the Fantabulous Four Aces card trick. It is actually one of the very first card tricks that I learned, and it is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so to start the trick, we're going to need to find and remove the Four Aces. After all, the name of the trick is the Fantabulous Four Aces, so it would be pretty hard to perform the trick without them. There's a story behind this trick, you see. I actually learned it from my uncle, who's a magician, and some of his magician friends. I was never much of a magician, though. I was always a good poker player. But I still enjoyed seeing these cool tricks that they'd do. And this is definitely one of my favorites, where they would take aces and they'd lose them into the deck, and then all the, they'd have all these creative ways to find them. So first, of course, if we're going to find the aces, we need to lose them. So we'll take the ace of clubs and we'll bury it into this pack. Put the ace of hearts on top of this pack, and then this on top. Put the remaining two aces on top of their packs and stack up the cards. Now, of course, my uncle always said that the aces are lost, but just for good measure, we'll give the deck a few cuts and shuffles just to make sure that the deck is really mixed up well and the aces are truly lost. Now, my uncle's first magician friend said that his favorite way of finding an ace is to spread out the cards and look for an indicator card. In this case, the indicator card happened to be the seven of spades. What that means is that seven cards down, there's going to be an ace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the first he found, the first ace. Now my uncle's second friend said that's a great way, but it takes too long. He likes to just spread out the cards and have the ace of hearts just flip over all by itself. So that's two aces down and two to go. Now my uncle said that he's a very good speller and that all he has to do is just spell ace of diamonds to find it. A C E O F D I A M O N D S. And he found the Ace of Diamonds. Now, they told me, you know, hey Zach, why don't you try and find the last ace? And so, you know, I didn't really know much about magic because I was a poker player, so I just tried to do what they did. So I spread out the cards and looked for an indicator card, but there wasn't one. So I thought maybe if I say a few magic words or snap my fingers, I can get it to just flip over all by itself, but that didn't work. But hey, maybe I'll try spelling it. A-C-E-O-F-S-P-A-D-E-S. -E -E but that's the eight of spades, not the ace of spades. So I said, you know what? You guys have your way of finding the aces. I think I can do it by just feeling and separate the cards into two piles and feel where the ace of spades is. And they, of course, are looking at me like I am just completely crazy. Like, what is this kid doing? There is no way you're going to be able to find an ace by simply just separating out the cards. But, you know, I said that I know what I'm doing. I'll find the last ace. You know, I'll prove you wrong. I, I, can, I can do this. So I said, I don't think it's in that pile. And I continued to separate the cards into two piles. I don't think it's in this one. And I did it one final time. And I said, I think I have found the last ace. I think I have it in my hand right here. They were impressed. They said, wow, you found the last ace. I said, yep, but that's not all I did because, you see, like I said, I'm a poker player, and so if you know anything about poker, you know that four aces is a good hand. But what's better than four aces is a royal flush in spades.